More often, government and military vehicles violate traffic rules, especially driving on wrong lanes, while others illegally install sirens. Those who drive with impunity on the road, driving in one way, having flashlights on and serenes, yet you don't have a right of way. Either your government, it's a government vehicle or a private vehicle, these are our targets in this operation. The impunity on the road should end. All garages installing serenes should stop it immediately. To note, all those who installed serenes and flashlights in their vehicles, yet by law they don't have a right of way, they should remove them with immediate effect before impound their vehicle. Operations against these kinds of irregularities on the road have been reinforced and several government vehicles intercepted and tickets given. For DF 1084 on 16th September 2022 at 8.51 at Mukono Chigombia, you drove carelessly. UG 0942Z on 16th September at 8.36 at Mukono Chigombia, you drove carelessly. Who has a right of way in the Traffic Act? Whoever you see impounded doesn't have a right of way by law. So whoever thinks will install a serene and a flashlight in a government vehicle or in a private vehicle, yet by law, doesn't have a right of way and misuses that on the road, shall impound it. It has become normal for motorists to dress their seats with military attires, trying to send a signal of untouchables while on the road. These commit traffic offences claiming to have a right of way. Why should you put the jacket on the seat in the car? That's impunity. That act should stop. And you'll find the majority found in those jackets don't even belong to the forces. He picks his brother, his sister's jacket, put it on the seat to intimidate people on the road. The jacket is supposed to be worn, not to be put on the seat. That's why you see such people. That's government stores. It's military police to handle. Meanwhile, the Directorate of Crime Intelligence cautions the public on the increasing cases of cyber crimes. The police spokesperson Fred Nang says the crackdown for bloggers has led to the arrest of three who had a habit of announcing government officials dead. Of the, decept the deceptive posts, chats, accounts, and pictorials, uh, which he has been sharing with uh, over 6,500 followers on Twitter and over 5,600 Facebook uh, followers. One on Geno saying, guys, this time around, celebrate responsibly. He has died. And uh, then uh, alleged to be the honorable speaker and what he posted this was that it is with great happiness that I have received the death of General Eli Tumwine. I even told the Pope that this deceased man tortured and killed many Ugandans. Last month, Parliament passed the Computer Misuse Act to match with the evolving technology while dealing with the emerging misuse by the public. Abdul Nasili Lubama and Marion Awari, you